What's up my gorgeous geeks, it's Cashin here with a brand new video and today we're going to do a let's play of Guild Wars 2 and I'm so excited for this one. I have been playing this game since it first came out and I have just been utterly aching at the chance to actually do a let's play of this uh, and I decided I wouldn't do any let's plays of anything until I got the chance to play this because this is one of my all-time favorite games uh, and you know some of you may think that's sad but I have always loved this franchise and I always will uh, even when I get a little bit upset at how they decide to roll out the game uh, but today what we're gonna do is just the introduction to uh, the Silvari storyline if you guys like this I may do other the other storylines as well uh, I'll even make new characters as well for that uh, and for now all we're gonna do is just play the game I already know my setup here I'm gonna go with the skull because I just like the, the way it looks uh, the others I uh, don't think they look that good uh, and then we're actually gonna make this guy actually charming uh, I think that would be a nice little uh, just counter counter to being a necromancer and none of this actually really matters all that much and I'm actually gonna do shield of the moon uh, for that storyline uh, and then I actually think I'm gonna go with all things that have the right to grow and then we're gonna make our guy cycle of night uh, yeah I kind of had this all pre-made I also have a name for him uh, if you get the reference uh, this is actually a play off of the name Khaled Bog, which is the name of the sword of the Silvari, which we'll see at some point in the story, but Calbog was just the name that I used, and I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start this off, and I will see you guys right at the playing. All right, see you in a bit. I am Silvari. 25 years ago, my people first appeared in Tyria. The pale tree flowered, and the firstborn awakened. The dream contains my race's memories. We gain awareness here, and then awaken into the world. The dream fills me with knowledge, and is my connection to others. It is my inspiration, my guiding light. While here, I have discovered my purpose. To face evil and destroy it. Even now, I sense my destiny calling me to awaken. My time is soon. Nature and goodness are under siege. All life hangs in the balance. If Tyria is to survive, it will need us. If we fail, the dream will be consumed by nightmare, and Tyria will wither and die. I dream of secrets. The voices of my people whisper to me of spider webs and hidden knives. I see the symbol of a crescent moon on the curve of a shield. It is a symbol of wisdom. The dream hints at my future. I glimpse the faces of those whose secrets I will shelter, and who in turn guard mine. I will uncover truth and fight the nightmare that festers in wicked hearts. On the eve of my awakening, I feel the earth singing in my bones. And yet I sense darkness approaching. Something intrudes upon the dream. It blocks the path to my awakening. Before I can enter the world, I must first face this evil and vanquish it. I am summoned by the dream. This is my story.
and I am back. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, yeah, that was actually uh, out of all the uh, beginning sequences. That's quite possibly one of my favorite ones. And oh my goodness, I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but this is deafening to me. All right. So, yeah, like we spoke, uh, I am going to do. Oh, Vitari. Each day is a gift. What by far one of my all-time favorite Guild Wars 2 characters was Ven or Guild Wars characters was Ventari. Uh, the only one who probably was better in my opinion would have been Rurik. Um, but definitely Ventari. Can you see me? What's happening? Why are we being attacked? Dreamer, I am Case. I need your help. Can you hear me where you are within the dream? Within the dream? What does that mean? Why do you look transparent? I am interior, a land far away. Soon you'll awaken here, but for now you live in the dream. I can't explain right now. We must hurry. Something is poisoning the dream. Poisoning the dream? Of course I will do whatever I can to help you. But why me? Your spirit is strong. Do not underestimate yourself. Head to the far embankment, and I'll meet you there. To me, I think uh, the Silvari are quite possibly one of the most interesting of the races that you could play as. This and way. the main this reason why is because it comes down to just their war. The fact that their messiah, if you will, is a centaur, and then on top of that, they have this entire realm of pre-birth that, I mean, even in-game we really don't know much about. We get to see it firsthand, but I would like to know more about how, uh, more about the, the pale tree, to be honest. Uh, and the lore itself, there's there's just so much lore to be had with just the Silvari, and they're only a few years old. They're not they're the youngest race, so to me, there's just so much that you can do with that. This battle is by far one of my favorites. Uh, of all the ones that you can do, I think that this dragon is quite possibly uh, one of my favorites. As of this recording, as of, as of this recording, I have played all the way up through Heart of Thorns. I haven't actually touched uh, Living World Season 3. Uh, so my plan is to go through all of the vanilla story and catch up with the storyline um, as to where it is now. Uh, the Head of the Snake came out. I haven't even touched it yet because uh, I wanted to wait to do this. And then I got myself a new computer so I thought I might as well go ahead and do a let's play of one of my all time favorite games. Uh, now, as for how I plan to upload these, I don't know quite yet, but uh, I will. Oh shit! I will let you guys know when I have a actual it's game plan. The dream is safe. I was fighting a great evil. Are we safe? Kaith! Where is Kaith? Steady, sapling. You just woke. You were calling out in your dream. Kaith was just here, but she had to go speak to the Pale Tree. She and I fought side by side against the poison in the dream. 
I saw the shadow of a terrible dragon, and I felt the dream call upon me to defeat it. By the tree. A wild hunt so soon, and such a momentous task. To be a valiant of the wild hunt is a difficult charge. Bear this calling with pride. I will. But how do I begin? One does not simply awaken and rush off to face a dragon. You start here, in our forest. There were others hurt in the dream. They could use your help. Besides, it'll be fine training for a new Valiant. Alright, guys. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's all I can actually do at level 2. Uh, so what I will be doing, as I spoke about earlier, is I will uh, try to post these in a, a consistent manner. I think what I will end up doing is uh, f probably four episodes a month of this series. And that is primarily because within a month you get ten tomes of knowledge and I just level this dude up. And, uh, because as far as Kalbog is con concerned, he is going to be strictly what I use for, uh, the Let's Plays and the storyline-based stories. I'm not going to do anything else with him other than the stories. Uh, now if you guys would like, I would be willing to do the dungeons when we get there. Uh, that would be something really cool, the, the storyline for the dungeon. I'd definitely be willing to do that. Uh, as far as like the busy work like this, I might do a little of it, uh, like me talking to you guys right now, just trying to get information out, or like if I'm starting a video, uh, my introduction might be a little bit of this, but I really want to just stick to just the story plot as far as what Guild Wars 2 has to offer. And my hope here is so that way you guys would see what this game offers and see if maybe this is something you might enjoy. If you do like uh, the uh, Silvari storyline that we go through, I may be willing to try maybe uh, doing some of the other races uh, introductory ones. However, it's a little shaky on that. I'm not really sure how I feel about that as I do want you guys to enjoy the stories uh, for yourselves. So what I will be doing is leaving in the description a link so that way you can get uh, Guild Wars 2. It is free to play and uh, if you would like any tips or hints, leave them down in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. And if you would like to play with me, let me know on that and I will try and set some up. I would love to get a full party of players who'd be willing to uh, play with me. As always guys, you know how this usually goes at the end of one of my videos. Until the next time, this has been Kashrin. Stay excellent to each other. Right. Had a boy, Clarence.